Ritzel from the University Medical Hospital in the Netherlands and me and my colleagues uh, performed research uh, about depression and long-term outcomes after renal transplantation. Uh, we researched um, 527 patients uh, with a median age of 51 years and um, we used a uh, symptom uh, checklist to uh, determine uh, so any signs of depression. Um, we made three groups of depression, a high depression group, a moderate depression group and a low depression group. And we found that uh, the major determinants of depression were being unfit to work, uh, performing no physical activity, having a, a bad kidney function, and uh, being a female and having a long uh, dialysis duration. If we then look uh, into the relationship between outcome and uh, depression, we see that uh, the people who have high depressive symptoms, if you look at the graph, you see that high depression is related to uh, more cardiovascular death compared to the low depression group. And we found this, that it was uh, independent of uh, the risk factors of uh, depression. Um, there could be several reasons for uh, depression after transportation and the relationship uh, with mortality. Patients could feel uh, fear of losing their graft and uh, depression is also related to inflammation after transplantation which could cause a worse uh, outcome of cardiovascular mortality.